I'm laughing already, folks. Welcome to the Hi. Star Mini Spotlight Daytime Emmy Special. I'm James Lajini here on JLJ Media. I'm a JLJ Media. Now, I don't have to really, you know, announce her. I mean, you know who she is. But I want to say this anyway. She's my friend, for one. We go way back. But number two, as of last night, she is one of the 2023 Daytime Emmy nominees for Lead Actress in a Drama Series. Miss Michelle Stafford. Hey, girl. Thank you. Hey, how are you? I am fine. Good to see you. Um, I want to ask you first, everybody's going to want to know, when, where, how? Like, how did you find out? Who told you? When did you find out? All that, you know, all that. Um, a, a friend of mine, a friend of mine who's uh, <clears throat> in the news business in uh, New York, actually, I was on uh, another call and she sent me a text and all I could see in her text was congratulations. So deserved. And she had a, a image with it, but I couldn't see the image. Yeah. And I was just kind of, I was on the phone. I was like, huh? And I didn't get to it. And then I looked and it had the, all the names. Right. Yes. And I thought, is this like some, a joke? <laughs> <laughs> like, is this some sort of like, like that, I, I didn't know what it was. And, it, and you know what? And that's so cool because I didn't know that nominations were coming out. I didn't, um, okay. I didn't, I didn't pay attention. I don't, I don't like to pay attention to that stuff, but I was pretty prepared not to be nominated. Yeah. Um, just based on, yeah, I was just pretty prepared not to, and it was okay with me, you know? Uh, and, and so it was a real, a really neat shock. Well, so here's some record, here's some numbers for you. 11 nominations, two wins back in 97 and 2004, and it's been 10 years since you've been nominated, apparently. It has. It's been 10 years. And it has. So I know personally you don't do this for the awards. I know you don't. You do it because you love you know, doing this. And it's crazy business. You love doing it. Oh. So does it hit you after all this time still in the business that people are recognizing your work? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, it's really nice. It, I... I I don't know why people are nominated when they're nominated and, you know, cause there, there were some, I feel oversights here and, um, and I don't know, I, I, I you know, like, I, I don't know why it's sort of a luck thing. It, it's also lucky to get a storyline that uh, as well, right. And to get, um, you know, something that you can really do something with. So, uh, I, I don't, but it, it is an honor. It's it really an honor. And I'll tell you it, another thing is uh, the group of women are all friends uh, of mine. So, um, I mean, they're, they're, they are, they're usually friends, but like, these are, I, I really, um, you're friends with like, you actually are really friends. a good group, right? And I've it never is. been, I've never even been nominated the same year Vanilla has been nominated and that we're in the same category is so cool to me, you know? Uh, you know, it's funny because this like today I was like texting, you know, Eden McCoy, I'm texting Christelle, like, oh, they go, James, your friends were all nominated. I'm like, they all were all, they were all nominated. Like my actual friends, friends, you, you know, yeah. they are yeah. actually, so it's actually very cool. It's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to mention Melissa Kerr Egan because she's had an incredible year of work. Who, who Missy? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Like, yeah amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing story. What yeah. she did with it. What she was so beautiful. I, agree. I mean, and I love I love Missy so much. And she's yeah. been nominated a few times. I, I would like her. I would like her to get it. I would, you know, I'd like every single one of these women. I, I'd be happy um, if they got it. So. But, I'm not going to say that. Because people know that in this business, a lot of us, we are all friends. People just, it's just like. Yeah. Okay. We know how we know how it goes. Like this yeah, person not, for whatever you know, reason, right? They get it for yeah, reason. because it's not like it's not like um, you know, it's a Stanley Cup playoff game where you know what I mean. Like, right. of course, yeah. I have to throw hockey into this, but yeah. you know, it's not like whoever gets the most goals. What you know, it's it's right. totally subjective, and yeah. you know, and and really, the win is being acknowledged. So, so it'll it'll be just really fun. Yes. Be really fun. And I just got to say, a lot of your work with um, Peter Bergman, who's nominated. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. I mean, beautiful, heartbreaking stuff. Really? Yes. No, oh, not not me and Peter. 
No, I'm saying oh. back in it. I'm saying back like that, like last year, because the Emmys go for like a calendar year or so. So I was saying that. I just well, wanted- I mean, he had heartbreaking stuff with the chemo stuff, but Peter and I were pretty well. Not Peter and I, but the Jack. Yeah, and yeah, I'm sorry, you're not you're odds. Jack. I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, they were at odds. So. Yeah. But we didn't. We didn't like that though. We liked Jack and Phyllis. We didn't like that as fans. We didn't like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. I know you don't pay attention to either. Like that's why I know you. So it's like it's kind of funny. I can tell you stuff sometimes. You know, I know. Like I don't know. I know, right? Yeah, you're my right. conduit. You're my conduit. <laughs> yeah, but we like that. But it was so great. Some, so great. And we have to lead into. I really wanted to ask you about the 50th anniversary scenes. Your big tour de force performance. We all loved it. Great work. Um. I wanted to ask you firstly, how do you, pre- do you prepare any differently for big scenes like that than, you know, right? I mean, you work every day. Like, but I don't a- prepare differently, okay. no. Um, I mean, those scenes are definitely harder. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing has been um, a real, it's a, it's a challenging storyline. I mean, what we're playing now too is really challenging and I like it, you know, um, uh, Josh, Josh is an intense storyteller, you know, and um, I I like that. Uh, I know you do. No, I know you do. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I prepared the same way, you know, uh, I, I prepared the same way, but uh, I didn't see those scenes, a big emotion like that. Sometimes I, I can't watch it because I'm just too critical. So I, I hope they were all right. We loved him, trust me. Many okay, cool. Loved if you guys loved him, that's all good. Yeah, I was I loved him. Well, I want to also ask you because you are very involved with your kids, my buddies Jameson and Tasha. Of course. Are of course. you are you are you learning law? How are you learning lines still? How are you doing that? How are you balancing that? Because you really are involved with your kids. Oh, so James, thank you. Thank you. Because yeah. it's I mean, it's I mean, I'm doing homework with them. Now Natalia doesn't want me to do homework with her, but you know, it's like, okay, then you're on your own. But um, <laughs> I, I probably can't do her homework. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard. I'm like, oh, no, it's hard no. um, but, but yeah, I'm doing their stuff first. And then when they go to sleep, you know, I, I, I basically know what I'm going to do for the next day. And then, and then like during the day, if I'm not working that day, I'll run it with um, the girl who helps my assistant. I'll run stuff with her. So, but I, I'll go over it mainly like after get, they go to sleep. But yeah, it's a juggle. Like all the time, it's a juggle. Uh, m- uh, mothers know, parents know. It's, you know, doing your own thing and then helping your kids. It's, it, it's a, it's challenging. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, a lot of your, I love you're like, I'm at a, I'm at a game right now in the car waiting. So I, I'm at a play. I'm like, but you really oh, are doing mom stuff. Right. You're doing mom stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for acknowledging me. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I, it's, and their stuff comes first. And if I, you know, like taking my daughter to her practices for volleyball, you know, I'm doing his homework in the car and then I'm learning my lines in the car waiting for her. Yeah. 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 That's the deal. What What are some things you have learned in the last few years in terms of motherhood about yourself? Oh, I don't think I could say it out loud. <laughs> what are some other secondary and third things you can say about that, that you learned about yourself? I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty. I mean, if we're being honest, right? It's hard work. It's it's hard hard about work. yourself you know, aren't pretty things that you learn about yourself. <laughs> it's been a hard time, man. Yeah, I know. And uh, the last few years are, are have been challenging for every parent. Um, you know, it was- the pandemic uh, and everything, yeah. With the pandemic and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was challenging for every parent. Yeah, no, definitely. I um, just learned, you know, people who were working and what do they do with their kids and- whoo, I know. And you have a dog. Oh, yeah, we do. (laughs) You're a lovely dog. (laughs) He's so cute, though. He's so freaking cute. He's like, (laughs) he's really one of the cutest dogs. I've I've had a lot of dogs, right? Right. He's so freaking cute. He makes that like, you know what? (laughs) It's fine. He's a a bloodhound. Blood we didn't really hurt. 
Is it blood and, <laughs> and they're crazy. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Miss Maddie. Um, bloodhounds, like they're really, they have got their own thing going on. So yeah, anybody who has hounds and understands, like they're hard to tame. Really, I didn't know that. I really got a hard to say. Oh that. yeah, right. They're they're following a scent. He's following a scent. Oh. All the time. Following it. He has a job to do. He has to follow a scent. And he's not interested in what I have to, you know, say to him. Yes, uh, that makes. I see. It makes sense. That, that, that you said hound. That makes sense now. Yeah, it's a hound. Yeah, blood yeah, hound. Sense. Yeah, it makes Please sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's me. I like your hair. By the way, thank you. I, I want to say Miss Jessie's hair care products. I want to thank her. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss, I know the owner, and she gives me products and nice. You use different. Nation, as we all know, you know, I like. You know, I know. I, I always I show people my skin nation, my face, and all stuff. It, her products work, folks. It's not a joke. Thank you. It, 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 and I, I'm the sole owner again. I took my company over. I heard that. Yeah. What's going, so what's going on? I, I remember when you first started. I'm mean, like, yeah, yeah, I know. You were one of my first supporters. I'll never forget that. I'll oh. never forget that. But um, yeah, I took it. I took it over again. So we're kind of going back to what we did before, what worked, and uh, there's a lot of really cool things in store this year. And 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 my customers, my loyal loyal customers, have been very very kind with me. So yes. thank you. Skin Nation Beauty, SkinNation.com. SkinNation.com. Yes. We're having no. a Mother's Day sale. Or yeah, if it shows do. after Mother's Day, forget it. You missed it. <laughs> we'll have more. <laughs> love more. Other holidays are coming. Other holidays are coming. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, but so seriously, as I say, you do juggle these things. I want to ask you back to the YNR. How are you feeling about uh, Phyllis? You're back a few years now. How are you feeling about Phyllis? Oh, good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's my job. Yes. I don't have an opinion of Phyllis too much, you know, like it's my job. Um, Phyllis is hot very high voltage she's yeah. she's tight wound yes, and yes, yes. so i have to laugh a lot at work i have to laugh a lot or else um it, it wouldn't be that fun you know like phyllis yeah. is out of mind is yeah. that reminded then some people like you know that cameo thing i do that cameo and people yes. are like do it as phyllis and i'm like well, what you want me to like scream <laughs> i'm like i don't think they mean that I don't think they want me to. <laughs> That's actually funny. I'm thinking, like, yeah, you don't, you don't do like you're not like, you're not like Kathleen Gotti who has a whole other voice she uses on a show. It's like it's you. It's just I yeah. Don't. I mean, it's me, but it's yeah, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. She's, That's good. <laughs> Folks, she said it. She said Phyllis is crazy. <laughs> but we we expect it from Phil. Phyllis is high strung, and there were many times last year where like. But you know, Phyllis isn't completely wrong. She I said, I wrong. said she's not completely wrong. I do. We say it. We say it sometimes. Like she's. Oh, not you do. Well, oh, public. Oh, oh, I think she's. Well, you know what? The 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 hard part is. Is she has that history with Diane, and uh, Diane aggressively tried to, um, like destroy her. Mm -hmm. In this succession of Diane, we don't see that so much. We see Diane just being underhanded um, and Phyllis going insane. But but we used to see it more like when we played it before, you'd see Diane talking to herself about how she was going to take Diane down. So I think a lot of people are forgetting the history, you yeah. know. I think so too. Well, that's why you, Ashley, because are reminding people at home, well, remember, she put me in, I was in jail because blah, it's like people are forgetting um, this whole, it's yeah. funny, the audience really, I mean, to the credit of Susan Ashby and the credit of the writers, they've accepted, it's like they've accepted Diane on some level. The, 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 the audience is like, oh yeah, she's back. At first they were like, I don't know. But I think that's such a great thing for you guys to play off of as actors. It's like, okay, well, could Diane still be Diane, little Diane, or could she not? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and yeah. Then, it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch you guys. I mean, she, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I know she can't say anything else because she's filming ahead. She can't say certain things. Um, but I do also want to talk about. I do want to talk about your charity work because we've covered all the other stuff. Because I have you for a short amount of time. But I just want to, you know, first personally, you Please work with take people. time with that. I want to I, talk about that. I know I do because you work with people yeah. that work in my literally in my city in my neighborhood, the NAACP yeah. in South Bay, Inglewood, and all that. No. So, talk, so talk about that. Talk about first well, I mean, you know, Reverend that. Fred Shaw because I that's do. his his branch of the, right. the NAACP. He's Inglewood and uh, South Bay. 
Yes, he is. Yeah. And but yeah. we'll, tell people how you got involved because a lot of people don't realize that you guys are you're always going to get the toys every year. You always say, how'd you get involved? Well, I mean, I got involved because in 2020, when we were able to go back to work and everybody that I knew personally, most everybody was either getting laid off from their job or they were losing their business. Or uh yeah. So um I just felt I, I felt guilty. Um, I was working and not everybody was working and I was going to work. And I, I, I thought I got to, with all of this richness, all of this that I've been given the ability to go to work with our, even with our intense protocols, but I, I have to do for others. Cause when you're given so much, you must do for others this is truly what must happen. And what I believe how I was raised. So, um, uh, I just thought, who who is the best person to go to? And I'm friends with Reverend Fred Shaw. And so I called him and I said, can you like help me with this? He loved it. He jumped on it because he said, no, no, no I'm going to bring people from the community into this and they will tell you who needs it the most. Like who's living in their car with their family, like legit, yeah. um, who really needs, yeah, who really needs this? And that's how it came to be. Great, and you got your friends on the show. To- and I got, yeah, and I got, and so I put an email out and uh, everybody jumped at it. And like I was telling somebody else the other day, um, people were saying, I wanted to do something for others and I just didn't know where to go. Thank you for doing this. And they, I mean, I'm telling you, they were throwing money at me, everyone here. And so, um, and we started, we went to big lots because um, we just did. I don't know, that's what I picked. Yeah. And I had some friends help and Christian helped. Yeah. And um, that we were still still 2020. I mean, we're still, you know, masks and yeah. the whole deal. And then the next year we went to Big Lots and then the lovely um uh manager at Big Lots in Culver City, California, okay. here. Yes, I know that uh, one. Gave us a discount. So we were able to get more. And then this year, like it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. And I always think oh shoot, it's not going to be as great as it was. Um, I bet people aren't as charitable, but people are still as charitable. Um, you know, people are suffering still. You are. So uh, so we're happy to do it. And we partnered with um, the Salvation Army and it's, you know, it's it's been it's been amazing. That's why I wanted you to tell people, I'm sorry, because a lot of people don't know where to begin. That is the problem. People are just kind of sitting around going, I want to do something, but like, well, you literally made a phone call. Like you literally just made a phone call. Hey, you know, yeah. And and if anybody's out there thinking, I want to do something great, just I mean, they're I mean, the Salvation Army, they're they're a great avenue to go to. I mean, they're right in the community. They know they can set something up. They're very organized. And in fact, in 2021, uh, the woman in Culver in Inglewood who runs the Salvation Army said, you know, we didn't have enough toys for kids this year. And then you guys came through and I just started crying. Yeah. She said, I, I couldn't believe that my prayers were answered. And so there, there, other, there are groups that that's their job to, to, you know, help the community. I mean, that people, you know, give all their time to do this. So, so Salvation Army, NAACP, just, you know, call Fred Shaw in Inglewood, NAACP. They'll, they're, they're there to help. They, they want to. That the National Action Network. You know, those yeah. two groups came together to distribute toys. Yeah, and so it folks, was just yeah. filled with great people, just phenomenal people. They are, and that's the thing. They're just sitting there, just waiting for somebody to say, "I want to help." Hey, listen, they've been fighting the fight for many a year. Yeah, yes. they've been fighting the fight. And they they continue to I mean these they're they're phenomenal phenomenal human beings right. Reverend Booby Reverend Mosley at the National Action Network Reverend Shaw like phenomenal humans they are well, they are and, but just one of those things folks it just it literally if you want to do something that's a place you can start just I mean look in your own communities wherever you are in your own communities there are churches there are churches, yeah. there I mean, it's, there's all there's all kind of places missions there's people everywhere just like. Yeah. Look it up. Maybe make a like a Google or something, or make a or just make a phone call or an email or something it's like that. That's literally is that is it's really that simple on some level. It is. Everybody's willing to help, you know. Like, and they're willing to bring somebody in. So it says, "I want to do this. I want to help." You know, uh, you know, it's it's the greatest thing you can do 
So, I agree. No, I, I totally not kind of like a Girl Scout, but you know what I mean? No, it no, is- I mean, here's the thing. I feel the same way. I gave away a lot of stuff during the pandemic. I was very blessed. I didn't, there are things I just didn't need. It's like, and I'm like, I don't need this stuff. Let me pass it on. And people were just like so thankful and so great because it's a hard time out there, kids. It's not, it's just, this is no joke. It's a hard time out there for, all, for a lot of people across the board. Um, mm-hmm. We're in LA. There's a lot of stuff going on here in LA. So unfortunately, it's a big city and it's a lot going on. And there are a lot of things you may not see it or you may see it. You go by, you don't know what's going on. But it's if we all do something, it's a little something. I mean, listen, if we all do something, it stuff wouldn't exist. If we all did. Yeah, you know? that's you. That's you too. Um, well, a couple of last things I want to ask you about. It's a total three is three sixty. Oh, one eighty okay. or three sixty. Okay, three sixty. One eighty. One eighty, something like that. Um, and we always laugh about this because we always mention it when I see you about social media. And so how are you handling social media these days for you? Uh, uh, the same way I always have. Good. What do you mean social media? Like who posts? Interactions. I know because you're, you're pretty, you know, like I post my stuff. If you want to comment, comment. I, you, know, you never get super. Oh, comments? Oh, I don't. Comments. Oh, I don't care. Like, yeah. I, it doesn't matter to me. If somebody says something nasty, it doesn't matter. It yeah. really doesn't. Like, every now and then, I don't sit there and read all my comments because um, I just don't have, well, I just don't. Yeah. But, you know, every now and then, I, I want to see what folks are saying. You know, I want to I want to see, I want to communicate to people, you know. And, um, uh, but I don't go through and, and um, uh, if I get something rude, you know, if it's too rude, I won't respond. I'll just block. But if I can think of something funny to say, then of course yes. I have. To. Well, you know, you have a great approach because last time we talked about this, you had a great approach. To this. You're like, you're like me. I like if I get comments. My whole thing is, you have a right to not like the character of Phyllis. You have the right to not like. So you always like. You're right not to like it. You know, or like me in the role or whatever. You've always been very good about that. It's like it's it, it's it's your right. You're watching. Oh, the oh, are you talking? Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care if anybody doesn't like Phyllis. I don't care. I one time on tw- on Twitter is when they're more yeah they're exactly a little they're more plus. saucy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. On Twitter they're like woo. Yes. But on Twitter, I think somebody said, "Um, there's Phyllis looking like a stripper," and I actually did say, "That's an hey, excuse me, that's an insult to strippers." <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody started attacking that person. I'm like, oh, I was just. Yeah, I'm You're joking. Joking. You're like joking back. But, yeah. Right, yeah. but wait, yes, when Phyllis um slept with Jack and like throw threw in Diane's face, which I actually Michelle didn't think that was a big deal. Like I'm like, <laughs> so what she was gonna keep on doing it anyway. Right, right. But it's fine. I guess I guess they got mad. I guess Jack was mad. It's all good. <laughs> um but uh she I, I got I, I got more than um more than i would think people calling me a whore they're yeah you're such a whore i'm like okay well wait a second right <laughs> that's an insult to whores well, exactly right but i'm up yeah exactly yes <laughs> but but i was just like just know i'm not phyllis just right. know <laughs> you're talking to me but i always mean it as a joke i think that sometimes um People think I'm, I, I'm never mad. I'm never I know mad. you aren't. I know you aren't. It's uh, always. Ever. That's a, great, that's a great attitude. Great attitude I, about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got, I'm a, I, I got enough going on with my crazy kids. And, yeah, yeah. All your beautiful, crazy kids. Yeah. Thank crazy you. kids. I love them. Oh, uh, they're so, they have such personality. Both have such great personalities. I love it. They have personalities. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, they're amazing. They're amazing. I'm, I'm blessed to have children. Yes, I know. I know it's what you wanted. I'm glad you have there. They are great kids. I've met them both. They are great kids. Um, so lastly, I mean, now you gotta find a dress oh, or yeah. pantsuit or something. You gotta find something for the Emmy. Oh, a pantsuit. I don't think you're tall. So I think it could be awesome. Um, yeah, I gotta find a dress. That's fun. That's a fun part. This is fun. Like it's such an honor. It's like these these are the jewels of life. Yeah. When you're acknowledged like this and you get to go to a party. Uh, ah, these are the jewels of life. Well, I'll be there. I'll be on the red carpet with one microphone. Of course you will, and we'll talk. We'll talk, of course. I'll be so excited. I got, I'm picking my suits right now. I have some being sent to me. 
I'm going to decide which ones. You know, my date is Finola. Oh, good. Oh, I can get to, yeah. to come over. Okay, you both have to come over and say yes. Yeah. I love Finola. It'll be, it'll oh. be great. Oh, that'll be great. That'd yeah. be so much fun. Oh, my God. Because so you're right. It's a fun night, folks. We get to all get together, see yeah. our friends from other networks. It's going to be so much fun. It'll uh, be great. And a new venue, folks, at the Biltmore uh, downtown. In downtown. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so nice down there. Yeah, the West. I didn't know that. Yeah, they decided a different location on on June sixteenth. So a different location. Is down it there. tables? Oh no, that's the part. I don't. I don't know. The, I don't know the inside stuff yet, but I know it's going to be there. So it's not past the convention. Oh, so oh my gosh, that's so beautiful there. I know it's beautiful there. So. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. Mm -hmm. okay. And not far from you, or not far from me. It's like it's a good location downtown LA. I know. I know. Right. Not that bad. You're in LA, we have to think about something like that. Not that bad. It's like down. It's like down. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Michelle. You know, I love okay. you. I love you. Love you. Love you. Thank Michelle, you for talking to me. Okay. What? Thank you for talking to me. Of course, always, 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 always. And watch her on the Young and the Restless, folks. And and watch out for her at the Emmys. And I'm James Lott Jr. And we'll see you next time. Bye.